Hey, what is up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, then welcome back. Today, um, this is another vlogmas video, obviously, but I'm outside because it is summer and it's sunny and it kind of looks a bit. Maybe it's a bit cloudy. Birds are chirping, it's a great day. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through my summer bucket list. So basically a list of things that I want to achieve before summer is finished. So it's like, it's kind of lengthy and I probably will add to it. That's what happened last year. Like I did a video on it and ended up adding so much other stuff to it. But the point of this is that there's a list of things that I want to achieve during summer. Whether that will happen, I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Okay, first up I have go berry picking. That was on my list last year too and that didn't happen. But that's something I really want to do. Teach Owen how to longboard, which is kind of, I don't know, I feel like he's kind of taught himself. If you don't know, Owen's my boyfriend, but I got him a longboard for his birthday in August. And he had surgery, so he couldn't ride it initially when I first gave it to him. But now he can, so I want to go, like, longboarding with him, like, at the beach. Like, I feel like this would be so, like, so good. Go for a morning run. I had this last year, and I had to go for morning runs. Notice how I took the plural off the end of run because it didn't happen last year. So I'm saying run this year in the hope that I'd go for at least one run. Soak up plenty of vitamin D every day. So getting out in the sun like this even though I'm in the shade because I'm sunburnt. <laughs> go to bed early to wake up early because I'm a morning person, not a night owl. Light some sparklers because why not go to a concert think this is gonna happen i don't know i guess february kind of counts i guess this kind of goes through until i go back to uni and in, into february make s'mores over a fire so that's probably more like a fire pit scenario but yeah go for a bike ride around the streets of Fongamata. i got bikes last year i didn't ride them because i was too lazy to pump the tires up but maybe i just need to go pump the tires up and then it will be fine build a fort and have a cute movie night obviously with owen go on a picnic up one tree hill for sunset again with owen try three new eating places don't know where don't know what there's one place i want to try in hamilton which looks so good but like i just need to like calm down get my full license i actually did that so i can tick that off already go to cathedral cove because i've been there before but i kayaked there so we didn't get to spend much time there but i want to actually do the walk over from hahe jump off the cliff at the waterhole in fongmata haven't done that in a few summers so i kind of want to like you know relive my childhood a little bit eat a watermelon with a spoon i had this on my list last year and it never happened so that's the plan have a water balloon fight, go stand at paddle boarding because my boyfriend claims that he can do a headstand on a paddle board so I kind of want to see that happen. Add lots of photos to my Polaroid wall. Obviously my Polaroid wall would normally be behind me in my videos but since I'm outside obviously it's not but it's got like a hundred and like nearly 200 photos on it so I want to like add to that. Learn to drive manual. This is something that I want to do. If you haven't seen that video from way back like April last year when I first started learning to drive and I tried driving manual and I couldn't do it. I had a mental breakdown anyway. I ended up changing to automatic and I haven't gone back to manual since and I feel like if I gave it a go now I could probably do it so I want to try and do that. Visit a farmer's market because like they're just so cute and like they have good food. Celebrate New Year's in Fongmata and this is going to happen. I'm going to be in Fongmata for New Year's and there may also be something else happening at Fongmata around New Year's time. So save the date. Make homemade lemonade. Like homemade lemonade is so much better than normal lemonade, you know? Fish and chips at the beach. I have never had fish and chips. Oh, actually no, that's a lie. I did that on Saturday. I had fish and chips at Mission Bay, but I want to have fish and chips like at like a beach beach, like a beach town, like Fongmata. Watch a sunrise in Fongmata. I used to do this quite regularly. When I first got my drone, I used to take my drone down for sunrise and make videos and stuff. And I haven't done that in so long, so I want to do that again. Do a 1,000 piece puzzle. I'm going to say that one for a rainy day as well as play a full round of Monopoly that is definitely going to require a rainy day as well and people who want to play it with me otherwise I'm just going to play it by myself and that's going to be lame. Go mini golfing at night time because I know that the Butterfly Creek by the airport the mini golf there they do at night and I really want to go there and play around mini golf in the dark. Well as going to the driving range late at night because by the mini golf place at Butterfly Creek they have a driving range there that's open 24 hours so I want to go there like in yeah, I, I suck at golf, but the thought that counts. Catch a ferry to Waikiki for the day. That's something that my sis, like sister-in-law Sage, my brother's girlfriend, she actually went back to Australia today, but she's coming back for New Year's. So we want to go over to Waikiki for the day and just like cruise around and have a look. Watch a sunrise at least once every week. It's going to be a challenge because the sun rises, I think, at like 6 a.m. No, it was before that. Some ridiculous hour of the morning anyway, so... Another thing I want to do is climb the mount for sunrise. I did this um, on camp in year 10, so I've just since year 13. It's like three years ago. In fact, it must have, uh, it's probably just about three years ago. To, yeah, it would be three years ago to the day that I did that, the day that I'm filming this. Go on a roadie with Owen, which is 
um, I don't know where, I don't know when, but just go on a roadie with him. Go to the spot with Owen and his family because they like have a place in Fidianga. I don't know if I want to say that, but like if I'm not, then I'll edit this out. But they have like a fishing spot, well not a fishing spot, but like a spot they go to in the water near boat and I want to go there. So visit some hot pools, so like either the Lost Spring Spa, the Mount or Rotorua. Have a Copenhagen ice cream at the Mount. If you don't know what they are, they are the best ice creams of all time. And that's all I've got to say. So yeah, that is the list as of right now. The list will grow, I can guarantee you. Stay tuned for the summer vlog so you guys can see how much of the stuff I actually get up to. I will try and vlog like most of the stuff if I do do it, if I have my camera with me, or like try and include it in the vlogs. But yeah, that's the plan. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If it's fun the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, it's free and I'd love to have you around here. Apart from that, socials are always linked down below. You guys are the best. Make sure to smile and I'll see you in my next video. In a wall of excuse me, trying to vlog a um really visit some hot spots, visit a sus. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad.